everyone who reception, it's Mrs. Biding. I'm going to read you one of my favourite stories, Mrs. Honey's Hat. Mrs. Honey's Hat. Mrs. Honey had a hat. On Monday, she wore it when she took her grandson Peter to the park. She bought him some bubble gum and sat on a bench with her knitting. Peter thought those feathers would make my arrows fly better, so he pulled them off. And instead, he stuck on some bubble gum. On Tuesday, Mrs. Honey wore a hat to visit a friend. They sat outside in the shade of a tree and ate cake while they chatted. Some birds flew down to pick up the crumbs. Those cherries look good, they chirped. So they flew down and took them off her hat. One little bird left some eggs behind. On Wednesday, Mrs. Honey spent her day at the beach. The sun shone, the sand was hot and the water was perfect. Mrs. Honey felt very happy. Afterwards, Mrs. Honey took off her hat and sat in the sun. A hermit crab thought that shell would make a nice new home. So he scuttled away with the shell and left behind some seaweed. On Thursday, Mrs. Honey picked up dandelions to make wine. It was very hard work. She took off her hat and sat it on the fence. A cow in a field saw the hat on the fence. What a beautiful big buttercup she moved. So she took a mouthful and her bell fell off and landed on Miss Honey's hat. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Friday, Mrs. Honey went to see an old castle. Just look at those cobwebs, exclaimed Mrs. Honey. This place could do with a really good clean. A big black spider dropped onto her hat. The lace will make a good strong cobweb. So he scurred away with it and left behind an old cobweb. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Saturday, Mrs. Honey took her cat to a cat show. There were all sorts of fine cats, but she hoped that hers would win first prize. An alley cat saw Mrs. Honey's hat through the window. That ribbon would help me win a prize, he thought. So he pulled off the ribbon and left behind some fish bones. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Sunday, Mrs. Honey went to church. Everyone seemed to be staring at her. Whatever can it be, she wondered. Perhaps it's time I bought myself a new hat. After the service, Miss Honey hurried home to look in the mirror. Then she noticed the bubble gum. The eggs. The seaweed. The bell. The cobwebs. And the fish bones. Goodness, she exclaimed, I've got a new hat. But she wasn't sure that she liked it. Bye everyone.